Hi guys, today we are going to draw a um, fidget spinner. So let's go to MasterCard and uh, insert the MasterCard bearing. So bearings, bearings. So select ball, ball bearings, double shielded, 608s, and product detail. Be sure to select your 3D step and hit save. Then you have on the workspace your bearing, capture the position and um, turn on the grid for me. I need to turn on the grid. Okay, now we have something on the center. Okay, right on the center. We don't need to do nothing. They just uh, take on some, some measurements. Let's start with the sketch with, with this plane, then circle. Okay, that size and that size. Now, now you have the bearing size. Let's hide this, the the bearing, and uh, let's start to make some something with this. First, we have to do do the the arm bearing about there. Let's circle. Whoops. Circle. And circle. Now dimension it to this size. Before I need to dimension this one first. Twenty two. Okay. Then dimension this. We have to delete this. This points here. Okay. Now you have the sketch. That point were the projections from the bearing. Once you have the dimensions, you can delete it. Now, you have to have this size about this one, and this size, circle size about this one. So we need to constrain this size to about this one. Okay, now you have equal bearing. Let's do something about this distance here. Draw a line. Select and make it um, a construction line, then dimension it to about 45. Okay, let's do a circle for the center, about uh, about 45, and for the outside circle of the outside bearing, about 30. Now, just draw some lines here to the tangent from the center to the tangent okay now you have the the sketch design but you have to trim out this to extrude these lines and this we are going to extrude this click E for extrude and select 7 millimeters is the thickness of the bearing so we have something here an arm now we need to make a pattern so create pattern circular part and select uh, bodies and click the body and uh, for the exits we we need to choose this one and you already will already have the three arms okay and that's it now you have three bodies here just need to group them and create a, a combined combined it's okay now you have one body for the bearings um, but let's turn on the bearing the bearing is about half uh, uh, above the, bear, the the body we need to move it up so select the, the bearing click M for move and then about 3.5 3 is the size of the bearing in half so we have now the bearing in the correct position so let's let's um, copy this bearing it control command c on mac and control command v capture the position of the center bearing then drag your copy okay this this is a this is a instance of this one. Now you need to 
make another pattern here so we select the the bearing which is a component now so um, we just create another pattern circular one and here we're going to put components and select this one again and choose the axis and choose the blue one and now we have the three bearings here on the, on the position so we have these copies all instance from this one now we need to apply some colors click a aluminium for the middle we are going to try to reach the middle position here okay now we have I'll, I'll take the middle color so polish for the outside and the inside now we have the bearings so let's do give a color for the fidget and okay now you have some color at fidget and um, we can do more things to it like a chamfer here it will be looking nice so we select chamfer and let's go chamfer all these edges here and turn around and select the other side I think I select all now we type about two millimeters let me see if it's enough okay it's 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 looking cool okay then we have the fidgets we need some something to to put here in the middle like a cap for the for the fingers so we are going to do this now and um, let's let's do it so we activate the sketch again and we have the circle here about eight millimeters so we need to extrude this to about uh, the height of the bearing so about uh, we're going to do eight a little more so but we need to extrude one milliliter more for on this side about that so we have some something like this okay now uh, we need to create a new sketch in the center here in the this plane and there was circle about that size let's extrude it extrude about two millimeters it's okay two millimeters How about three it's better three okay the center part two okay now we have something and um, let's do the same for the other side so click OK see select the face and then extrude that again three select the center also now you have something but you have to divide this in another body so we need to draw a plane we need to draw a plane so let's draw a plane the middle is about 3.5 so i do a construction line here and uh, can be here and uh, we do about 3.5 and another line this is the most important so we turn this to construction lines 
and we have something some line here as you can see now you you would construct and uh, plane at angle and select this line we we are going to choose zero degrees click ok now we have um, a plane we can cut the body so uh, this is the body no uh, sorry this one okay now we have to split the body select the body first here and then split into a wheel plane now we cut in half click ok now we have the body half the body okay turn on and you have the the center part for the bearings we can chamfer it too let's do chamfer this and this about uh, one yes okay so we have something here okay let's uh, let's do something more fancy like this so let's draw a draw a circle here on sorry on this body outside the, the other ones so let's do a circle here on this plane and for the fingers about about that size and let's do a better size about okay it's okay let's ex extrude now about minus one millimeter and uh, do the same for the other body so circle select the plane it's about that measurement so extrude okay it's just this is just for the fingers okay now you have the fidget spinner let's apply some some material to the center part about can be red red will be cool for this one and this one okay we are finished so just need to turn on the bearings and you have the fidget spinner